First question is from Take K. Why are Iron Man athletes muscular even though they do excessive cardio? Oh, good question. Okay, muscular so, or lean? Well, they also kind of, they got some decent mm. muscle on their bodies compared to the average person. I'm going to admit that. But here's what here's the thing that people need to stop doing. Stop looking at the pinnacle of physical performance and then using that as proof or evidence of a particular training methodology. Because here's what you're going to find when you look at the top, top level of any sport, whether it be endurance or strength or whatever, they all have exceptional genetics, exceptional genetics. So if you took the average person and you got them to train like an Ironman athlete, they would not look like the top level well, okay, Ironman athlete. Okay, I, I decided, because I, I don't even know where this person is coming from at all, so I I decided to put Ironman athlete in Google and look at the images, and I'm scrolling down right now, and I don't see anybody muscular. For, here's what you need to understand, is that we all have muscle. Even if you don't train your muscles, you have muscle. And if you get really, really lean, you see more of that muscle. Hmm. So... The, the perception of them being muscular is that they're super lean. That's is true. More than anything mm -hmm. else. You don't see any buff Ironmen. No, they're women. ripped. They're but, but. Lean. They're lean. Not, it's not an advantage. Yeah. For yeah them look at, to, look to at all those buttons. Show me who, who in there muscles. would you define as muscular? Well, Doug, look up the. I would say look lean up, at best. Look yeah. up. And world. by the way, if you're an. I'm not. This is not me shitting on any. By any means. It's me. Trying to clarify someone uh, misconstruing what a muscular, the definition of what muscular is that right. I would not define that as muscular well, at all. Well, Doug, look up uh, world uh, top ranked uh, Ironman athletes um, so we could get at least that. Because here's, here's the thing that, again, I want to make this case here. At the highest levels of competition, people have incredible ability, incredible genetics to preserve look muscle, at, even if they're trying to take it off their you, body. Okay, we're scrolling right now. We've seen already 30. I haven't yeah. seen one muscular person. No, I. Yeah, I gotta agree. Yeah, <laughs> there's show no. Me. I mean, that some some have like some lean, like defined arms. Yeah. But again, that's look a, at, a, we, a we, lean okay. Factor. Now we we have forty people, fifty people. How many more top ranked Iron Men and women do you need to see before it, it's a terrible yeah. definition but they, but, of them? But to to be fair, they look different than uh, the top than endurance marathon, runners. Yeah. You know, Endurance because they runners. do they do incorporate more of the body. Because they're cycling and they're swimming. Yes, but yeah, I, so they build a little bit more muscle. But I'm going to make There's this argument. Fast twitch movement. But again, I'm going to make this argument. You take the average person, you have them trained just like a top level Ironman athlete. They probably won't look like that, because when you're at that level, you have the genetic ability to preserve muscle even when you try and take it off your body. Sure, sure. So yes, they're not jacked, but they have more muscle than. I mean, the I get your would. point, and you're right. Like yeah. your 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 point is it's it's terrible. I mean, it's just like a bodybuilding. Like you should not look at bodybuilders no. and compare. Well, they only do they train this way or do this. It's like, dude, they're all you're an anomaly. If you right. are the uh, if you are on they the started Olympia with the stage, frame to build on. Yeah, you, you know, know, regardless if Annapol all that bullshit. Like that, it takes a, a certain genetics to get to that level. So I get your point where yeah. you're going. I'm just saying that this, to me, this highlights more what we've shared before about being lean is I remember, okay, my whole career trying to get bigger and never being on a diet and cutting because I I didn't I never had a problem with being kind of leaner. I always couldn't get bigger. Yeah. And the first time I decided to get lean, I got more gear look huge and big compliments than I ever had in my life. And that's just because you can see my muscle more. Okay. And so it's, I didn't get, I didn't add any more muscle. You just leaner. Yeah. Here, here's a better comparison. If you want to compare two similar sports, one more aerobic and, and endurance based. Yeah, sprinters one more, versus. Uh, yes. Yeah. yeah. Do a sprinter versus an endurance. They are buff. Yeah, look at the difference. Yeah, for sure they're buff. You look at a sprinter, look at a long distance runner, and there's a dramatic difference Huge. in how their bodies look. Yeah, sprinters are buff as shit. Yes. And yeah. that's because they're not running for longer than about 30 seconds. Yeah. It's the same thing with those cycle uh, uh, races where they sprint through and do yeah. those. Oh, yeah. bro. There's Dude, their one, legs are huge. There's just one athlete, I don't know his name. His legs look ridiculous. It yeah. doesn't even make it looks like a looks like, like a quadzilla. It's insane looking. Yeah. But you know, okay, so this is the example I like to give to people because trying to explain the range of genetic, you know, variance there is for muscle building, it feels a bit abstract because you can't necessarily see it like just with people walking around. I mean, you can see it, but it's not as easy to see as like height is, right? It's easy to see with height. And if you Think about the amount of times you've seen anybody in real life. I'm talking about everyday life, going to the grocery store, going to the store, you know, going to work. Think of all the times in your life you've ever seen anyone that was over seven feet tall. 
it, you either A, never in your life, unless you went to an NBA game, or mm -hmm. B, once and you remember it. I literally one time in my life saw yeah. someone, <laughs> aside from watching a pro game, right. saw a guy over seven feet. I was at the airport and I remember looking and going, that's a giant. That yeah. looks crazy. And he was probably an NBA yeah. player. BJ Maybe. Armstrong <laughs> yeah. and Bill Cartwright came into my restaurant and it was just like, it was like a giant who yes. just like entered the building. And that's one end of the extreme with height, right? On the other end of the extreme, right, are people with you know dwarfism and then everybody else is, most people are somewhere in the middle. That's what it's like for muscle building. Those giants that are so rare, you never see them in real life. That's how rare it is to have the muscle building genetics that produce the freaks that you see that you go, I don't want to look like that. If I, you know, if I lift weights, I'm going to end up looking like that. No, you won't. You're not. Uh, because you, the odds are you don't have that one in a billion. Yeah, you know. Type I of just genetics. think that this highlights more that perception of of what lean is. That's what I think. I yeah. think people, and, and and that just shows you that's what's great about getting really lean. If you've never leaned out and got to single digit body fat, like right. you will look more muscular. So if you're it turns heads. You yeah. Know? So if you're somebody who's watching and listening, and you've you're always trying to bulk because you already feel like because I wish someone would have told me that like sooner because I spent ten years on a bulk, you know, thinking that I need to get bigger, bigger 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 the minute i decided to lean out and just get really shredded all of a sudden everybody thought i got bigger i remember a, a, uh like one of my ex-girlfriends telling me that like y you're better off being skinny with abs than being big with no abs and was so pissed off about that because i just want to be big and like, i don't care <laughs> yeah. never, never, never subscribe <laughs> <Big> that. <laughs> that's a lie <laughs> pure lies